Hey everyone, Seanus here. Welcome to this video. So in this video, I'm going to teach you WordPress in 5 minutes or everything I can teach you about WordPress in 5 minutes because um, WordPress is so big and you can do so many things with it that it's really hard to explain uh, WordPress. Alright, so um, in this video, I'm just going to teach you everything that I can in 5 minutes about WordPress. So uh, let's get started. So based on WordPress or you know my experience, you can do two things more. Usually people do uh, two things with WordPress. Number one is they create a simple blog with it, or or number two is uh, they create a company or you know some brand website. Now I'm gonna talk about these two. First thing I'm gonna show you is to how to create your blog. Obviously we're not gonna go over installing WordPress because it's uh, complicated and you know it has different ways to install it. also in case if you want to learn WordPress completely I did a course a complete course on WordPress because uh, this was something that many people asked and this is frankly it's, it's too, really simple but at the same time it can get really complicated so I created a complete course for it and you can check it out I have a link under this video but let's go back to the WordPress and see what we can do so the first scenario that you can use WordPress is obviously to uh, start a simple blog and in order to do that after you install your WordPress and theme all you got to do is just go to posts click on add new to add a post and publish posts on your WordPress site okay now this is the title the WordPress the content itself you can add categories here and um, you can add a featured image and this is sometimes you can do this sometimes you cannot it's it depends on your template and next thing I'm going to talk about is the WordPress uh, menus. If I go up to this website, this is an example of the website that I just created for this video. You see a menu up here. And in order to add that menu, all you got to do is ju just go to Appearance, click on Menus, and uh, add your new menu. Let me just wait for this to come up. There you go. So you can add your menu, replace it, you know, add links, uh, custom links, and so many other things that you have in your WordPress so that's your post and that's your menu and next thing I'm going to talk about is pages now if you take a look some websites if you pay attention sometimes they have uh, a page as their front page I mean they don't have it's not a blog you know it's a company site if you try to build something like that you need to have a page as your first as your home page and in order to do that first of all you got to create your page and in order to do that obviously you go to pages same as uh, same as the post actually you click on add new and you create a page now it depends depends on, based on your theme you can create different types of pages you know um, if you have a theme but that it comes with builder you can start building your wordpress theme like this i believe i have an example actually let me see if i can show you something like that um let's see this one Yep, there you go. So this is a page that I just quickly created using this theme. So uh, in order to set something that like this as your home page, first of all, let me just publish this. Okay, first you're gonna publish the page, and in order to do that, just click on publish, and uh, it's going to publish it. The next thing you do in order to set that as your home page, you go to appearance. I'm sorry, you go to your settings, and you click on reading okay let's go there and you can click on for in this section you click on a static page and you select the page that you want to have as your home page and you click on save changes and now you have a blog that has a static page as your front page let me see there you go actually I believe I have I have to clean my cache that's why it is happening it's not actually showing let's let's let's, let's go to content and delete cache and it should show that page as my home page there you go so that's how you set up a home page on WordPress now, the last thing I'm going to talk about is your website speed. Now, 
let's say you have your WordPress set up and uh, you want to make sure that your WordPress loads as fast as possible. In order to do that, you uh, need to install a plugin called VP Super Cache. In order to install a plugin, you go to the plugins, you click on Add New, and you find that plugin. Usually, this plugin is this plugin is so famous that WordPress actually actually recommends it to you at the moment you get to this page. Take a look. So it just shows it to you shows it to you right here, and you can just click on Install like this and activate it after that. Okay, so that's how you improve your website speed. Now, guys. This is this was like a five minute video. I was trying to do this as fast as possible, but if you want to learn WordPress uh, in extreme, it's in a re in a really good detail. You can check out my course, the course that I published recently about WordPress, and basically in that course I go through everything from simple WordPress options to advanced WordPress codings and basically with that course you're gonna be a WordPress master alright so I'll, I'll leave a link under this video so that's pretty much it let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next video